Guys, there are a number of bags that I use. Uh, I have my bug out bag, I have my get home bag, which I keep in my vehicle if I need just those essential items to get me home. And then sometimes though, I don't need all that equipment, all that gear. I just need something compact and light. And today we're gonna take a look at number one, maintaining whatever bag you're carrying. Making sure that you know everything's working, making sure your bag's in good shape. But we're gonna take a look at my compact setup. And this is a little Maxpedition Fat Boy. Uh, I carried this when I went up to Virginia for the big gun rights rally. And I had the essentials I needed. I didn't want a whole lot, I just wanted certain items. And so we're gonna go through and see what's in this compact bag. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas. Uh, or maybe you might leave something in the comments of some things that you would carry. And again, this is just a small compact bag, and yet, guys, if you get yourself in a situation, it's great to have the essential gear you need. This is kind of my compact setup. Uh, this is kind of minimal, and yet I have a lot of stuff in here, uh, especially like going to the Virginia gun rights rally that we went to, things like that where I'm going with a big crowd. I don't want to carry a backpack. There were so many people there anyway, it would have been more difficult. And so I wanted something I could get right to very quickly. And that's one of the things about these sling packs is you can just move them around on your body really easily. And I've been a big fan of these for a long time. Uh, no, this is not a purse. It's not a man purse. This is what Indiana Jones carried. It was a satchel. <laughs> Uh, having a medical patch on your bag because you should have medical gear in here. Number one, it kind of takes down the threat level. If somebody sees you with a bag, they see the medical, kind of just disarms them a little bit. Plus there is medical in here. Uh, there is a trauma kit. And so I want to make sure that everyone knows that in case something does go down. Now, the first thing you want to do is to check the outside of your bag. Make sure that there are no tears. Uh, if it's dirty, you want to keep that clean. Making sure that all of your buckles, everything works fine. Your zippers are working. Uh, look for any kind of problems in the pack. Make sure the back is solid. And again, guys, if you have any kind of dirt or something on there, just keep it clean. It's just going to last longer. Uh, these packs are really water resistant, so they're great. Uh, make sure your straps are fine. I would put it on in the different ways. And just see what different things that you've got. Your D-rings, again, your Molly, your zippers. Just a complete overlook of the pack itself. Now we'll start out first just with the outside sleeve. That's a little zippered pocket. It's small. There's not a lot you can put in here. I have one of the blast matches. I'm a big believer, you know, guys, in fire. Having the ability to start fire. And this just pops out. And then when you push down, it strikes like that. And uh, this is a one-handed method to use fire. I love it. Uh, this is also one of these towels that will expand, uh, but it stays in a very small little package. So once I open this up and pull it out, if you get this wet, it gets really large. Light load towels. Right here in this pouch, uh, this would be great for some binoculars, but one thing that I like to keep in here is paracord. And this is on one of the tool spools. I'm a big fan of these. And then, you know, I just wrap my paracord. Uh, I have a lighter attached. So this is a really excellent way to be able to carry paracord. You also have a blade right here. I've done a review on this. I keep these in all my packs. Of course, it does have Molly attachments here on the side. And uh, there are D-rings. There are different things you can use. So you can actually attach more to this if you want. Here on the side, we have a little pocket, a little sheath, and in there, of course, I do keep a good flashlight. Uh, this is the Olight, and it's the M2R Warrior Pro. Um, one thing I like about this is it is a tactical light, so if I need it in a self-defense situation, it does have the crenulated bezel, and guys, it is like superbly bright. I mean, just incredibly bright. And so this way, I've got some self-defense capability, or I just need light. Right here in this little pouch, uh, one thing I like about it, it's enclosed, so I pop it down and I carry an extra magazine here. Now, I typically carry an extra magazine on my body, and it's according to what I'm carrying, but uh, I might even carry a couple of magazines in here. And there's actually a place for a pen right here that I usually keep in here, but see, I pulled it out, and now I don't have it. But this is a great place because you're using pens very often. Now, here in the back, I have a little hidden compartment, and this is for concealed carry. I do have one of the Velcro type holsters that fits in here. It's a universal holster. Uh, I don't have my firearm in there right now because I've taken it out, but uh, this is a great place for it. And you can actually put a couple extra magazines in there if you want to. Now for me, I carry my concealed carry on my person, but this makes it great for a small little backup. Then again, you can put other items in here if you don't have an extra firearm to carry. And that way it gives you some more cargo space. 
Now when it comes to the main flap right up front, I have a write in the rain pad. Guys, it's really important to have a pad to be able to write things down you know, for different purposes. Uh, and then also a pen. I like to use the space pen typically, but I just have one of the Uniball pens in here. But one thing I want to show is let's make sure that this pen works. And that's one of the things about this. And obviously, you know, the ink's fine. But make sure that your pens are functioning and make sure that they do work on the paper that you have. Now we're going to go into the pouch behind it, open it up. I keep a bandana handy at all times. One of the big reasons is in case there's smoke, dust, different things. And of course, bandanas have a hundred thousand uses to them. So this is really something that I like to keep in all my packs. Uh, now I did find a mask here. And what's funny is this was before the COVID-19 scamdemic, <laughs> uh, but I already had this in here to keep dust, smoke, different things like that. I like to have a mask. Kind of serves a lot of the same purpose of the bandana, but this gives you a little extra capability. Uh, and then now, of course, with all the craziness, you know, if you're going into a place that requires a mask, you have your mask handy. Here again, I have another flashlight, and this one uses AA batteries. Uh, it is the S2A baton, and uh, the reason why I carry it is because it carries AA batteries. I can get AA batteries. I can keep them in here. But as you notice, I'm checking it to make sure that it's functioning, and to be honest with you, uh, I just changed the batteries out on this recently, but again, changing your batteries out, making sure they're good to go. Uh, this is a really unique item. I found this actually at a gun show, but it has some paracord around it. But then you have a small saw on this side, which will is more of a striker, honestly. And then we have a fire steel. So I have fire capability and I have some paracord in case I need it. And this can also be used as a small baton if I need to use it for that. And it's just really compact. Here I have a knife, which having an extra knife is important. You know, guys, I mean, two is one, one is none. I have the knife in my pocket, but I always keep a backup somewhere in here. And not just a cheap one. I mean, this is a zero tolerance and it's full on, but um, I definitely like to have a good knife with my gear. Also, I have a multi-tool. This is a SOG multipliers, and uh, these are excellent. But guys, especially if you're out and about, having some kind of way to, you know, if you need tools, pliers, knife, screwdriver, different things, this will help get you through. And one thing about the knife and the multi-tool is make sure that it's not uh, having any kind of corrosion, that there's no water getting in it, that it is ready to go. Now here in the main compartment, uh, these are the larger items. One thing that I keep on top. And I know I'm a little crazy with flashlights, but having a headlamp is different than having a standard handheld flashlight. Uh, I can get hands-free, put this on my head. Honestly, if I only had one light in here, it would be this light. Uh, and the big reason is because I can take this off of the headband. I can use it as a standard light. I can even use it with the headband still attached. And so let's go ahead and make sure that it is. It is. I started to say it's not even working, but you can see it is up and going. And so uh, having this light running is vital and making sure these batteries are good. Next is medical. Uh, and really medicals should be really one of the most important things about this whole kit. Here I have a cat tourniquet and I have it in this little sleeve. I could actually put this on the outside of my bag, which I probably would do, you know, it, it's according to the situation, but having this handy and available. And then also I have one of these filsters. Um, this is uh, compression gauze. It has uh, hemostatic gauze. There's a number of things you can have here for wound packing. It also has some nitrile gloves buried right in here. This is a complete trauma kit. And so this is something that I like to keep handy. We take these to the range a lot as well. And that's where the medical comes in. Next, we have this little small pouch. Uh, this is an admin pouch. I like to keep fire kits a lot of times in these, but this is just a lot of the necessities, different things you can use. Now, with the lighter, uh, you know, I like big lighters because they're so convenient, but they can have some issues. You know, sometimes this gets pressed down. Sometimes people put a little twist tie behind it to keep it down, a rubber band. You want to check to make sure that your lighters are working. Make sure they have fuel. Take your pen, pull it out. Again, we want to make sure that it does right. I mean, guys, these are simple things, but they're important because if you have it in here, it needs to work. Uh, we have a Frontier filter straw. This will filter 20 gallons of water. So this is, to me, one of the things I really like. It's so compact. Behind here, I just have some duct tape, and it's the pocket size. It's really small, but guys, duct tape, you know, is great. 
Now one thing I also have is a silcock wrench. This is great for turning on and off water and gas and different utilities. So if you're in a downtown or urban situation and you want to get to water, uh, this is a great tool to have. On this side, we just have some lip balm. Uh, guys, you want to check to make sure that it's okay. Here we see that it's actually melted into the top of the cap, but it's still working on this side. So just one of those things you want to check. I have a little Exotac Nano Striker. It strikes and has some fingernail clippers and they work too. Little packet of safety pins and we all know there's a hundred uses for this. And then also have some tender tabs and this is for fire tender. And guys, it's great to have your Bic lighters and different nano strike or whatever. But having tender tabs or some kind of way to start fires uh, is important. <laughs> Very important. Now, here in the back, even though we do have some medical, I have a couple of band-aids because definitely that's something that you know, can come in handy. And then we have Vaseline and cotton balls. Again, fire tender, and this stuff is excellent. And that's pretty much all, but again, checking everything, making sure everything's functioning. Also, in the insides, we have one of these straps, and this goes around your waistband. I don't always keep this out. You can fit it onto here, but I like to keep it in the pack just in case. And what I like about this pouch is that this comes out and you can actually tighten this down and it keeps it from, you know, gaining any kind of water access in here. So, uh, also making sure that this stuff works. And right now I'm having a little trouble just getting one side pulled in. So I can bring this in, making sure that all my different locks and everything work. And so that's just pretty much it. So guys, make sure you go through your bags, make sure that they are in good condition, make sure that the items that are in there are working and that they're present. And, you know, it's one of the things about having bags, it's an evolution. You are continually upgrading your bag and the more experience you have and the more you're out there, you tend to know what are the things that I may need. And so having a really compact bag like this comes in handy, but no matter what bag you have, make sure that it's maintained and ready to go. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Now here in the back, we have a little zippered compartment. This is a concealed carry apartment. And then I have a multi-tool and this is a Leatherman, oops, it's a SOG, or buckling. I've got this one pretty tight. Okay, let's see. I definitely wanted to have gear in the head.